uh, give a patient nutrition like a feeding nasal gastric tube. But for this demonstration, we're going to do a Salem sump tube, which is for gastric decompression. So right here is the supplies. The first thing we're going to do, of course, is check, check and verify our order, identify our patient, and then verify and get all of our supplies ready. This is a Salem sump tube. And we'll talk more about that here in a minute. And then we have our lubricating jelly. Well, and it is water soluble. And then we have our cup of water here with our straw. We have our alcohol pad, our rubber band and safety pin, our catheter tipped a 60 milliliter syringe, stethoscope, pin light, emesis basin, pH strip, and then we would need Kleenexes and or a washcloth for the patient. Now what we're going to do is we're going to go over here and also, uh, before I forget, we also have our suction equipment and you always want to make sure that your suction equipment is working. And for the sake of sound, I'm going to keep it turned off. And then also, of course, my gloves and, of course, hand hygiene, my sanitizer. So, I'm going to walk into the room. I'm going to say, hi, Mrs. Olson. My name is Melanie Duke, and I'm going to be the nurse taking care of you today. And um, the doctor has ordered for you to have an NG tube hooked to suction. So I'm going to get all my supplies here ready. Uh, first thing I would like to do is listen to your bowel sounds. Let's get my stethoscope, but I'm going to auscultate her bowel sounds. I'm also going to palpate, but first I'm going to auscultate. I'm going to listen in all four quas qu quadrants. And she does have bowel sounds in all four quadrants. And then I'm going to palpate for any firmness, distension, rigidity. Now, when I start this procedure, it's going to help a lot if you will swallow as I'm inserting the tube. The swallowing will help ease the tube down. So it's very important when I say swallow that you swallow. Okay, I'm going to make sure I've provi provided for privacy. And then I'm going to use my hands to sanitizer and provide hand hygiene. I'm going to have my tape, which I forgot to show you, as part of my supplies as well. And I have my three inch, two or three inch uh, tape, and I'm going to split the bottom. So I'm going to take and I'm going to tear off a piece. And then you'll see how I'm going to use this to secure my tube. I'm going to have that handy. And then I'm going to take and uh, raise the bed to a comfortable level, working condition. And that is so important to save your back. I want my patient in a high Fowler's position. So I'm going to raise them up as long as they can tolerate it. Now, if it was contraindicated for whatever reason, then I would have to... So it's just the bed doesn't work. I would have to go with the flow, and um, I would have to leave the patient um, wherever they needed to, um, to be. Now, I have some wires that are getting pulled, so I will put the bed back down a little bit. Um, now, what I would like to do is um, tell the patient, give them a tissue, and tell them they can blow their nose. And then I will have the emesis basin sitting close by in case that they do get sick. Because remember, for doing this for gastric decompression, uh, we could uh, their stomach could be full and they may vomit. Um, I want the patient to relax and to breathe normal. And it's very important that I ask the patient about any injuries that they may have had. Ms. Olson, have you had any injuries, any facial trauma, any 
uh, ever broke your nose or anything like that. No, ma'am. And so she has not. And ask about sinus surgery and things of that nature. Because if they have had a deviated septum, then I would want to make sure um, that I stay away from that nair. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put my gloves on. And I'm going to occlude one nair at a time and have the patient to blow. So I'm going to take and I'm going to say, okay, I want you to blow out. And then include the other nair. And it feels like this um, one on the left side or the right side has uh, more air. So I'm going to use that nair to put down the NG tube. Um, I'm going to clean the bridge of the patient's nose with alcohol. And that's going to help get all the oil and everything off the nose and clean it real good and that will help the tape to stick or if you have a um, NG secure um, device it will help it to stick as well better and that will allow that to dry. The next thing I need to do is to measure my tube. So I'm going to get my tube to measure and here is my tube. This is a Salem sump tube. That's the type of tube it is. I have the air vent. This blue part here is the air vent. Never ever put anything in the air vent. Many times students want to hook the suction up to this or put their syringe in this part of the tube, but this should not have anything going in it. Um, it is an air vent to help keep the, the end of the uh, catheter um, from adhering to the stomach, to the wall, to the lining of the stomach. So it's very important that you just leave this open. Um, the next thing I'm going to do is measure. So to measure, I'm going to take and I'm going to measure from the, the distal end of the tube. I'm going to hold it on the tip of the nose and I'm going to extend it to the earlobe. And then I'm going to go from, keep my hand in place.